Good morning, traders. Paul here with Gamma Edge. Today is Friday, the 27th of January. Let's get started. Pause your players here. Read to the bottom. If you agree, hit that play button. Summary for today, market models remain uh, bullish, uh, both on the short-term basis as well as the long-term basis. Uh, we're, we're solidly here. Uh, we've heard some noise within the Discord of being long in the tooth, not seeing any indications of that, but of course we're extended. There's no question, but that's the way bulls are. Our market breadth uh, view using the 52-week new high, new lows continues to show this bullish broad support. We've completed 17 days, the entire trading month of January, uh, to the upside. This is uh, remarkable. We have not had a run like this in the 52-week new high, new lows uh, like this in some time. Transitions are significantly improved. Uh, they are tighter. They are higher. Uh, we like to see the higher component. Uh, we also like to see the tighter. Um, the higher component generally means that the entire complex is moving up. And when we say moving up, we uh, intend to mean call dominated. Uh, when we see a call dominated structure and calls going in, I've been talking all week that the bulls need to step up. They need to add those calls because we've been watching uh, day over day. We've had net positive expiries in uh, net positive call expiries uh, across the structure and uh, they are stepping up and they are replenishing that and you'll see here that they are targeting 4100 and then some. Uh, the 4065 which is the end of March JPM strike uh, is relevant. It's all but absorbed. Uh, you'll see that on the last slide here. Uh, as I just said, the market is clearly targeting the 4100 and uh, added quite a bit yesterday. Uh, downside ranges, uh, we don't think we're going to get any lower than, uh, this should say 3985. I'm sorry, I made a mistake here. This is 3985 uh, with possible test towards that 4010, 4015 zone. Um, in fact, what we, we had a pocket down here at 3885 and it's all but uh, vaporized and been absorbed. The call dominated structure is uh, really going to give us lower volatility and uh, this is because dealers will be forced to uh, buy the dips and that will dampen volatility as a negative feedback loop and that will help us grind higher. And so we're, we're seeing that today. Uh, of course, seeing a little bit of weakness here in the morning, but uh, overall the structure is very, very supportive to uh, a continuation to move higher. Uh, cumulative tick model, uh, just trying to make this as clean as possible for everyone who's following it. Uh, we're in day five of this short term uh, end of day evaluations, especially if you're working during the day or whatever the case may be. You can just look and see where, where we are at the end of the day and you can see that we've just had this nice sustained run. We did pull back as we talked about last week. Uh, stayed above what we call the ribbon. Uh, ribbon is nice and parallel. It's expanding. Uh, this is a great scenario. Uh, now, we could get a pullback, which you don't see on the screen here to the left, is that we did pull back for a couple days. If we, we do pull back, uh, which is very possible, um, that's fine. Uh, give, the, give the market a rest. Uh, what we would want to see is a turning point, uh, you know, let up consolidation run for a day or two, maybe three, and then resume the uptrend. So this is a, a very good picture perfect. I uh, want everyone to make sure you understand this. We are watching uh, two strategies which are performing extremely well. Uh, we're watching the zero gex trans uh, entry strategy. Uh, some new candidates here. Just watch. Uh, I've put the um, uh, ER dates on here. You need to check this yourself. Uh, don't rely on me. Uh, also, the plus trans to plus gex entries um, showing some, some new entrants there, and so definitely want to take a, a look at that. Uh, taking a look at the overall levels uh, on the uh, PM settled, which is here on the left hand side, we did move up from 4050, that is uh, bullish. Uh, also, just want to show in the top four on either side, we're not seeing the 4065. This is the first time in a long time. Those of you who have been following this, the 4065 is the JPM uh, strike that rolls at the end of March, but it is so large, it's been dominating some of the air in the room. Well, it's been kicked out of the room. So it's still present, but it's uh, it's not very large right now. 
over here in the combo complex no change structure looks sound looks really good actually um, expected move open high low close conservative values premium sellers uh, on any rip or any dip you can probably sell below this area or above this area uh, i know we've heard some comments that you know there's no premium up there but that's the way it is in a low vol environment uh, PM Cell Complex, uh, just really two standouts here. These are the JPM strikes at 4065 for the end of March, and then the 4145, which is the end of January, uh, about one third the size. You can see that in the, uh, the overall net uh, open interest here. We do subtract short open interest uh, in our chains. Um, just wanna point out 4100 is really the key. It's the call open interest dominant in the overall complex. Uh, and you can see that its magnitude is incredibly large relative to all the other gamma that's here. So a lot of folks targeting this, uh, this 4100. Close second here is 4050. And you can see that the gamma there is also very, very large. So 61,000 contracts, 50,000 contracts. We don't watch call put ratios here. In fact, we have a thread in Twitter you should probably go read, but uh, just knowing that uh, this is a very large number tells you a lot of this is short data. In fact, we saw over 4,000 calls added alone uh, yesterday to the 4,100 strike. In the SPX, that's, that's a notable number, so just be aware of that. Transition has moved up. Uh, it's very clean, very tight. And you can see as far as the eye can see in the uh, tradable PM settled complex, and we have green deltas. So the in the money side, as well as the speculative out of the money side is completely dominated by calls. This is very bullish. This is great. This is a good thing. With the exception of the JPM strikes, of course, which are not liquid. Zero DTE, very tight structure. Just wanna highlight a little bit of a ripple here, not, worried about it but if we do lose uh, the transition a little bit there's a lot of folks here who could potentially monetize and stabilize but again we've got on the zero dte we got a lot of calls coming off the table today just be aware of that we don't see any contribution from the zero dte above this 4135 area some very dominant strikes that you see here at the 4100 as well as the 4050 so just be aware you know we're gonna most likely play on the green side here today uh, the one DTE, I know a lot of circles here, and you know if you circle everything, of course you're gonna you're gonna hit the parking spots. But just want everyone to be aware. Again, very tight, very dominant uh, looking uh, transition uh, because of the dominant gamma levels for Monday. This is the view across the weekend into Monday's expiry, right? So. A lot of areas where we could potentially park. We like to go into areas where we have virtually zero uh, gamma exposure as well as zero delta exposure. The, the sad thing here is we don't have a lot of zero delta exposure. So you could see something in this 40, 45 zone, uh, but you know gamma is not low there. You could push up underneath. Uh, this area, which we actually do think is, is probable, the 40, 45, 40, 50 into the weekend. And then to the downside, uh, we would not be at all surprised if we tested the, the circle two, circle four, circle five areas. We don't think we're gonna push up here to circle three, but you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, pulling out the crystal ball, polishing it off into next week, uh, call open interest and the dominant expiry for next week, 4,100. You can see it's a very, very large number. Uh, transitions a little bit wider, uh, but that's that's fine. So 39.90, 39.85 zone. You can see a little parking, little shelf developing here. Uh, in general, we think this is the uh, the lower test range for next week. We think the upper range is this 41.40, 41.45, just underneath the uh, JPM, which comes off on Friday. Uh, taking a look at the combo complex, very, very strong uh, net gamma in general. This is one of the higher numbers we've seen in some, some time since uh, July, August time frame. Um, just want everyone to be aware, you know, completely call dominated structure of magnitude, right? So the combo complex is squarely in a call dominated environment. We're going to see volatility continue to get dampened down. Um, the two strikes uh, showing the rolls that we have coming up for the, uh, the end of the um, uh, month of January, which is up here at 41.45, and then here at 40.65 for the end of uh, March. 
just be aware that you know we're we're most likely going to play between the two between the two ranges next week uh, today included of course. Uh, do want to point out we're not losing we're not absorbing this downside transition range. Uh, this is very abnormal. Uh, see really the only crack in the ice that we see from just having almost a picture perfect structure in the SPX. Um, not overly concerned, it's, it's out of range, uh, so we're not thinking we're going to move anywhere down there, but uh, one of the, the scenarios that we, we've been looking for and going back in history, watching for when we get this bimodal transition, uh, they do tend to merge. The question is, is, does this one vaporize or move up the chain towards this, or does this one start moving down towards this? And frankly, we don't know that. Uh, crystal ball's not that good, but uh, we're, we're watching it. Uh, taking a look at the overall combo structure, just want everyone to be aware that those 4,000 calls that went in yesterday, most of them were dominated on today's expiry, and this is why you've seen a growth from where we were yesterday, shooting up in the gamma, right? So this is uh, one view of uh, an attempt to gamma squeeze the uh, the SPX. At least uh, we're chuckling as we see that, and and you know say the term that everyone wants to hear, of course. Uh, we're right here at this 4060. You can see the 4065 has dramatically been absorbed, right, compared to where it was yesterday and, and is almost neutralized. And so we believe that will allow us to, to move north. There's nothing stopping us uh, from our perspective here today. Uh, structure continues to advance. Uh, here's the 4000 line. Here's the 4025 line. And you can see even though we've got this dual thing going on here, we are moving away. It's getting wider uh, to the downside. No, not even seeing any indication that 3900 is going to become the uh, the structure here. So we're we're remaining uh, pinned on this 3800. Uh, that's important because that means that we're not seeing puts speculative puts go in uh, at the near number here. Most people are focused here, and you can see just the general imbalance. Um, you can't say, well, of course, because you're moving up in spot price, and this is why the green is, is bigger than the red. No, it doesn't work that way. Not here. Um, what's happening here is we've got, we're getting a lot of calls going into the structure and not a lot of puts. So uh, we, our position is, is that the downside is not positioned very well for, to absorb a, a drop. We think there's poor liquidity down here. So it's going to be interesting. We're watching for the shift to start seeing the puts go in. We're not seeing it yet. Everyone's focused on building out this structure. So we think the road north uh, is just the way we're gonna be until there becomes an exogenous event and uh, you know we need the liquidity and it isn't there. So that's it for today. Um, come join us at gammaedge.us. Uh, key this into your browser in the upper right hand corner is a pricing tab. Fill out the blanks and Come on in, see us, 14-day free trial, all the tools turned on. Uh, follow us on Twitter, please, Gamma Edges. We post content there all the time. And then here on YouTube, two things. If you like today's content, smash that like button. It gives me immediate feedback that I'm providing what you want to hear. And leave a comment. That's always great. Always appreciate those. And then, of course, um, follow or uh, subscribe on YouTube so that you can get notified the next time we, uh, we post something. So with that, I bid you farewell. Hope to see you in the Discord. Make it a great Friday. Make it a great weekend. And um, take care.